and this is a video on how to give offenders to friends we're going to start off at the car meet go inside the car meet enter the test track you can use your own car for this one if you want to i usually don't i just use one of the test vehicles that they have currently for that week So make your way over to the car meet and doesn't matter how you enter. You can enter with with others or by yourself, right? Make sure music and stuff is down. Sorry, I have weird settings I like to put when I'm online. All right, go ahead and enter this. What we're gonna do, we're gonna enter in here, let it load up while you're sitting in here, and you're gonna hold options. You're gonna hold triangle to respawn. And right as that bar at the bottom right gets to about 95, 98%, you're gonna let go of options. Watch. Hold triangle, let go of options. You should have that chain link fence, the, the fence in the background. Didn't hit it the first try. Didn't hit it the second try. There we go. We got the chain link fence. Go ahead and get to your map. Start that job that's just on the north side of the, the car meet right there. I'm back out of that job as soon as you're able to. And there's two options here. You can either get spawned just like this right here, where it skips the anawak part, it kind of holds you up right here, it'll let go. Or it'll spawn you on the top of the roof where you're invisible and you have to join all the way through anawak to un uninvisible yourself. We're good here, we skipped that part. We're just gonna go ahead and make our way outside. And uh, I personally always start with uh, Arena Workshop level vehicle. It, it works for me a little bit better. But you can use a nightclub vehicle. So whatever vehicle you call out here, just make sure you drive it back into where you call it out from. That's the, that's the important part here. If you use the nightclub vehicle, take it back and drive it into the nightclub. If you used an arena vehicle, use an arena vehicle and drive it right back into the arena. And we do mean arena vehicle as, as a vehicle stored in the arena, not an actual arena vehicle that you can modify with all the arena upgrades. Let's, let's be specific here. So let's go ahead and call out Arena Workshop 1. Slot 1, baby. Slot 1 always works for me. doesn't matter if it's a modded car, a non-modded car. So all that hype about it needs to be this or that is bullshit. All this hype about it needs to be from this garage or that garage is bullshit. If you want to run around the telephone pole three times and hold your breath for 33.3 .3 seconds, you'd be my guest. But I'm not into that shit. So let's go ahead and make our way over to this arena. Right, we have our friend that has the Avenger that we are giving, or our DMO Avenger. In this case, it is a friend letting us use his Avenger to drop to somebody else. So, drive into the workshop. You should get the flashy screen, spam triangle, fall through the map. You're done. You are uh, unrendered, you're rendered, you're whatever you want to call this. You're glitched out to give the Avenger where you can fly through the map. Now how this works, I'm able to walk on the ground right now only because I'm close to where I glitched out. If I go a couple blocks away, I'll fall right through the map. All right, so there's kind of a pro tip here. Pro tip, don't go driving off unless you're in an air vehicle. Right, don't get all happy. All right.
let's go ahead and make our way there now you can use the job right you can use the Avenger job but I, I think that Avenger job is a little off on the marker so you, you don't hit it as much with that Avenger job I've used it personally and uh, what I've done is I've taken a picture from sitting inside of the cockpit of the Avenger with my own phone in game and I've saved that to my gallery that way I can just go access that picture and set a waypoint it's way more accurate I promise you guys it's way more accurate delete those adventure jobs you don't need them you can set your own waypoint from your own picture that's way more accurate to drop these things all right now the person receiving the Avenger and anybody inside of the session will have to have their Avengers pulled out of their facility right now. Nobody, including myself, nobody can have an Avenger inside of their facility. We all share a facility space. So if one Avenger is in there, we are blowing this one up for sure. It is not going to land. So pro tip again, make sure everybody in this session has their Avengers out. Try to do these in a private session so you don't have to deal with stuff like that. All right, here comes some more pro tips. This is where it gets crazy, right? Because you have to be a certain direction and you have to line yourself up or you start hitting poles as you fly through the ceiling. So I use the Vinewood sign. I kind of just slightly left of the Vinewood sign, just a hair left of it. All right, you see how I'm not pointing directly at that Vinewood sign, I'm just a little bit left of it. I think that is the perfect lineup. I'm telling you, this works a lot of the times. Yes, I fail sometimes, but I think it's just I'm still practicing at it. If you line it up, you put yourself on your marker, on your waypoint, you'll be good. Just slowly, slowly let yourself down. Do not rush this part. I mean finesse that L2 button. Make sure you hold yourself right over your marker. It is critical. You can't let it drift. You've got to be on top of it. You can't let it get off the marker and then correct it afterwards. You have to correct it right now as you're going down and keep it steady. Uh, if it starts to get wobbly, just stop. Stop. Just let it stop wobbling and then continue your descent. And you're just going to want to ever so slowly keep it steady and, and, and just drop a couple feet at a time. Is, is how I see. I don't know how fast I'm dropping, but to me, I'm, I'm dropping just a couple feet at a time in my head. I'm not holding that L2 button. I'm just ever so slightly tapping it a, a, a eighth of the way. And if you can go slow enough and, and, and get it lined up right over your marker, you will land it right inside that Avenger, spam triangle to get out, have your person inside of their facility waiting on it, go and jump in it right now. They're going to spam triangle, they're going to get inside of it, they're going to change the armor, one thing on it, it doesn't matter what you change, I would go change armor, uh, and fly it outside. All right, so that's what he's doing right now, he's going to fly it uh, outside, and he's going to fly it back in, and he's going to send me an invite. And that's it, guys. 